If you watched my previous video about behind the scenes and accountability, that's basically what it was. It's important as Christians that we hold each other accountable. Not that you have to have an accountability partner or group per se, but you should. I'm saying my double talk, but because the world will hold you accountable and so will the Lord. And that's the topic of the discussion here. Okay, let me just say this. If we don't hold each other accountable, what unbelievers will do is crucify and attack you personally about where do you get your funding, where do you get your money, if you're a 501c3 church, etc., etc., etc. Okay, they won't take you seriously. Okay, I am here to do some accountability in my own personal blog here. I, I go to thrift stores. I go to, I, I'm thrifty as possible. These shirts were brand new. I had them made with the symbol of the cross on it for medic, because I was a medic in the army and I'm a veteran. And I also was a medical assistant so it made sense to have it that way. And then when I designed the field report, it was for the purpose of doing a blog. So accountability to me is very important. I do not spend my time on vacation. I don't make, you will not see palm trees in the backdrop. As you can see, you see my microwave. I'm in my kitchen. I have my $5 ring light from Five Below. That's it. You see my plant. You see the same backdrop. I used to be one of those people that believed that you had to have the fancy backdrop and everything. I used to believe that that was in, in the way it was supposed to be. Because I came from a background in radio and I used to be a radio host for WGIV FM for a very short time in Charlotte, North Carolina at a gospel Christian station. So I was a big believer you should have all the works. You should have everything, the fancy this, the fancy that. But I also know you have to have sponsors and you have to have the money coming in to do that. Okay, and you have to basically be a salesperson. And that's something that I'm not. I'm not a salesperson. So long story short of it. Uh, sorry about that. The phone's ringing. Um, what I was trying to point out is you have to prove yourself in every venue or job or in this case, blogging with the facts. Now, sometimes I get it right, sometimes I get it wrong, but I just want to talk about accountability. If I'm wrong, I need accountability partners or partner to keep me in mind. So I talk to my pastor who keeps me in mind. And I talk to my pastors, because I have two, that keep me accountable. And I talk to plenty of other people at church. That is important to me. And I include you on my blog to keep me accountable. That is what keeps it legitimate. Now I said it. That was all I really wanted to say. Accountability keeps us in the fray. So I said this because... There are groups, there are bloggers that need to be held accountable. Where are they getting the money to do all the th things they're doing? Why are they going on so many vacations? Why are they at 
different hotels. This costs money. Where do you get the money to do this? You open up the bookkeeping at the churches. It's called evangelism. And evangelists need to prove where you get the funding to do all this. I know there's some that legitimately get funded by their own church members, and that is fine. As long as you can be accountable for your spending and expenditures, then your church pays for it out of their own pocketbooks. But me personally, I pay for this out of my own pocketbook. I do not ask anything from anybody in my blog community to pay for a set red cent. I have never asked for any money from anybody to send for cash app or anything. And I don't want to. It's just not the way I am. So I continue to do this. And I continue to do it with the same presence of mind. And I continue to do this because I want to. And I believe that God called us to do this with the idea that he's going to bless us with or without the cash flow when we are obedient to him. And that is my message to you guys about accountability, that he will bless us in and out of season and we don't have to worry about money being the source. He is our source. And that is my message today. Thank you for listening and God bless you.